Yellowstone volcano shocking find, scorching mantle rock runs under California, geologist claims. And uh, it's all these uh, findings make us feel that uh, the distances are negligible when you talk about such huge bodies of magma and mantle plumes. Sebastian Kettley Express UK reports, Yellowstone mantle rock extends westward to Northern California and Oregon. This is what a geologist announced after making this shocking discovery. Yellowstone volcano mantle rock spreads sideways and it has been doing this uh, for 500 miles, 804 kilometers from Wyoming in northwest U.S., moving deep below the Earth's crust. The mantle rock is a source of scorching low-density rock. It fueled the supervolcano's past major eruptions, and for a long time, geologists suspected Yellowstone sits on top of a mantle plume, long columns of hot rock that channel heat from deep inside of our planet. A geologist of San Diego State University, SDSU, Victor Camp, says that uh, he's now found how the mantle rock has moved towards the Pacific over long periods of time. Now, the geologist who, who self-funded the Yellowstone Volcano Study publishes findings in journal Geology. He says, since the plume is not controlled by plate tectonics, it can rise and emerge anywhere on Earth, depending on where it manages to break through the Earth's surface. He says, so knowing this will help us understand super eruptions that have occurred before and those that will occur in the future. And according to him, this mantle rock movement along narrow flow lines channels deep below the Earth's crust, below the Earth's crust. The mantle rock then branches out into two points, once at Yellowstone, the second time, and the California-Oregon border. One set of flow lines have since ended at the Medicine Lake volcano in California, which is northeast of Mount Shasta, and the other ends about 20 miles to the south of Bend, Oregon, at an active Newbury, at the active Newbury volcano. So you can see that these two volcanoes, these two areas are definitely, he says, connected with Yellowstone. Now here, the Mount Shasta is just uh, below the borderline of uh, Oregon, California. It's the second uh, volcano down. And Newbury is uh, just above the Oregon, California border, the third volcano going up. Okay, so this is the actual map of the location of these volcanoes that are supposedly felled, fed by the mantle rock from Yellowstone. So the journey of this moving mantle rock would have contributed to a number of volcanic eruptions over the past two million years. My question is, okay, it feeds those two volcanoes. How do you know it doesn't feed the rest of them in that area? And uh, that's very shocking because of the fact that these are so close to the coast. The eruptions would have occurred in a volcanic area in the state of Idaho, known as Craters of the Moon National Park. And uh, we have, if you look at Google Earth, you can see lava flows as if they happened yesterday. According to U.S. Geological Survey, Yellowstone Supervolcano is a hotspot of activity where some melting in the mantle occurs, and the mantle is a layer of rock between the Earth's crust and its hot core. USGS explains that the intense heat generated by the hotspot causes melting of the crust, forming basaltic and rhyolite magma. The rhyolite is extremely high in silica content, which makes it viscous and prevents gas from escaping this magma. And that means that when large amounts of rhyolite accumulate within the crust, large explosive eruptions can result. Dr. Camp went on to explain that these findings are important because they can help geologists better understand how mantles all over the world help feed volca active volcanoes. And the mantle rock that has reached California spread over many millions of years to uh, the west this westward movement. According to Dr. Camp, the movement was triggered when Yellowstone mantle plume hit the North American tectonic plate. The plate's cold temperature acted as a barrier of sorts at a depth of about 62 miles down, that's 100 kilometers down, then forced the plume to melt and spread to the west. In his study of the Yellowstone mantle, he said that geothermometry studies, 
and geochemical considerations suggest that the low velocity features may be composed of moderately hot, low density mantle derived from the Yellowstone plume but diluted by thermomechanical erosion and entertainment of colder mantle lithosphere. And he says finger like conduits of plume modified mantle beneath quaternary eruption sites delineate flow line channels that have developed across the border mantle structure since two million years ago. Now, when did the Yellowstone volcano last erupt? We know that the super eruptions of Yellowstone were 2.3 million years ago, uh, 1.3, and then 640,000 years ago was the latest of these eruptions at Lava Creek. Those were the super eruptions. And uh, there have been smaller uh, non-explosive eruptions of 70,000 years ago and also 80 eruptions since then. According to USGS, there have been 80 non-explosive eruptions of which 27 produced rhyolite lava flows. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.